Hi everyone, I'm back with another DIY. So for this one, you'll need a variety of colorful duct tape, a razor blade, a straight edge, here I'm just using a post-it pad, and some tape measure, and of course your pens. Start by measuring the base of your pen and cut out a strip of duct tape. I find that using the razor blade is much easier than using a pair of scissors. And then you're just going to simply wrap it around the base of your pen. But I need to know your name. You aid your address. And then use the same technique to wrap the cap of your pen. I'm cutting off any excess tape and I'm using that to cover the rest of the pen cap. You can choose whatever color duct tape to cover your pen. Here I'm just using green so it looks like a flower stem. Now we can start making the petals. Measure out 20 inches of duct tape and taking your straight edge and your razor, cut every 2 inches and this should give you a perfect 2 by 2 inch square. A little for my flower, I'm going to make it a medium size and using two colors. So for the inside, I'm going to need 13 square pieces and for the outside color, I'm going to need 15 square pieces. Take one corner and fold it toward the middle. And then take the corner next to it and do the same. Make sure to have the bottom edges aligned. And you should have half an inch of the tape exposed and then at the tip it should have a fold and that will be your flower petal. Continue this same method with all of your petals and I like to lay them out so they're ready to use. If you ever Decide on which color is going to be on the inner part of your flower and at the base of your pen start with a petal and fold it around. And directly opposite of your first petal, place your second petal. And for the next petal, place it where there's the gap on the other end. And then you're going to put the next petal on the opposite side of that. Now that you have your first four petals as a guideline, you can start by adding more petals in layers. Just turn your pen and add the petals on the empty spots. I'm gonna run right up this hill. And once you finish with the first color, you can move on to the next. Don't think about it too much, just add the petals where you see any gaps. I'm gonna run right up this hill. You can also make a solid color petal flower, but I just think having the two colors makes it really unique. So this is how your flower pen should look. Cut out two more square pieces and cut them diagonally so you have four smaller triangle shapes. At the base where the petal meets the stem, we're going to hide it by just placing these triangle shapes and placing the pointy side up, just wrap them around. I'm going to put it all around, just making sure that they're all even and just placing them opposite of each other, kind of the same way we did the petals. And now your flower pen is finished. Duct tape comes in really fun patterns as well, so I'm taking this animal print one and wrapping my pen in it. I think it looks really cute and is an easy way to customize your pens. And you can also just leave it like this if you don't want to add any petals to it. it. 
if you find it a little bit hard to add the tape underneath the little clip thing, I like to cut a small strip and then using my razor blade, I'm going to just push it in to flatten it out. Here I wanted to show you how you can use different colors. I'm going to use black on the inside and yellow on the outside and it will kind of look like a sunflower. And I think this is just a really great way to customize your pens. Um, it's a fun project to do and I think it comes out really cute and adorable and it's your own customized pen so have fun with it. You can choose colors like a green stem to make your flowers look lifelike or you can be creative and pick really wild and crazy fun colors and prints. Be creative with your flower pens and these also make a great gift idea. So I hope you guys enjoy this DIY and check out more of my DIY projects and as always thank you guys so much for watching.